Okay, let's create our first custom command in Django. We will start with the basic command and then we will increase the complexity of the command step by step. Let's start with creating one simple command. Maybe uh, we will create a hello world command. Okay, so let's see how it goes. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to actually create an app. Okay, so I hope you know how to create the app, right? So it is very simple python manage.py start app and then the app name we will say data entry okay so python manage.py start app data entry so the app has been created and as you know the moment you create the app you first need to go to the settings and you have to register this app okay, say data entry all right and then in order to create the custom command you have to go to this app directory and create a new folder okay so inside this data entry you have to create the new folder and name it as management okay so because this is a management commands so inside this management you create another folder call it as commands okay so these two things are very important inside the app create a folder called management and inside that management folder create another folder called commands now inside this commands folder you create files okay so first uh, we will say hello world hello world.py so this hello world is nothing but the command name okay for example you have created a uh, hello world.py so that means your command will be python manage.py hello world okay so that's how it is now inside this hello world file we are going to write everything about the custom management commands okay so first of all we have to import a base command all right so base command will actually come from django dot core dot management dot base okay import base command okay so using this base command is essential when creating custom management commands it provides foundation and a set of methods that we can uh, use to get our command do its job okay so every command that we run in django will go through this uh, base command okay so this is actually the base of all the commands all right so that's why we need to import the features or functionalities and methods of this base command in our custom commands all right so now next thing what you have to do is you have to create a class called command okay so this command will actually inherit base command so this is nothing but our class command will actually inherit all the features of this base command okay so not only all the features it will also inherit the attributes and methods as well all right so let's you know make use of some attributes and methods in our uh, custom commands also all right so now the first thing is the help attribute okay so just say help is equal to so this is just a short description of what this hello world command is going to do okay so of course hello world command is going to print the hello world right so you can say print it prints uh hello world okay print hello world that's it by the way uh, how to see the help messages right so for example you know first save this file and i'll show this help message uh, in this terminal if you run this python manage dot py um hello world hello world and then uh, hyphen hyphen help okay now here just scroll up here you can see prints hello world okay the same thing now every command in django has its own help attribute for example if you want to see uh, what is the help message of uh, run server command python manage.py run server hyphen hyphen help you can see starts a lightweight web server for development and also solves static files similarly if you want to check collect static Click static hyphen hyphen help you can see uh, collect static files in a single location all right so these are actually the uh, help message for uh, each 
commands okay uh, let me clear that uh, you know terminal next comes is the important method called handle okay so this is actually a method or function handle all right so this handle method is the main entry point uh, for your commands logic okay so this is where you write all the logic that needs to be performed when you run this command okay and this handle method takes three parameters self arcs comma aw arcs okay so self is nothing but the instance of this class itself okay so whenever you create a function inside a class then you must pass self as a parameter all right so you must remember that and then it is star arc so this arcs represents any positional arguments that might be passed to the command although arcs is rarely used in uh, custom commands but we mostly use kw arcs or keyword arcs so this kw arcs uh, represents any uh, keyword arguments that might be passed to the command we will see more about uh, these arcs and keyword arcs uh, later in this section okay so don't worry about how these things work all right and next uh, inside this handle function we write the logic okay so whatever logic we want to perform for this hello world command we have to put that here inside this handle function now of course uh, we write the logic right after writing the logic uh, we want to do some kind of output right so that's why uh, we should say self dot std out okay, self dot std out dot write so this is the way we print the message on the terminal all right now uh, because this is a hello world very simple command we'll simply say hello world all right now this command is complete this is ready to run let me run python manage dot by hello world let's see how it goes yeah now you can see hello world is printed right so this is a very simple command in the future lectures we are going to see more complex commands okay so with that said we will also create one more uh, simple command in the next video